Hey YouTube, Kevin with Space Cadets here with a video on the Unified G4 Bullet and the Unified Protect platform. Uh, I'm going to walk through a quick installation, show a little bit about how to set these up, get them configured. They are PoE devices, so you need to have a Ethernet cable to the location you're going to, and it needs to be um, powered up either by a PoE injector or a PoE switch. For this, we're using a Unified 24 port gen 2 poe switch for powering the device and that worked out really well installation is pretty straightforward pretty smooth setup and configuration uh, is really pretty pretty easy and pretty intuitive so overall i like the camera it works out well i've got a few other protect cameras this is definitely the best video quality that i get also it does a good job on the smart detections both cars and people are picked up very easily this is used to monitor a door and it's nice to be able to easily go and just find people detections and see when we have folks moving in and out of that door. So with that, I hope you enjoy the, the walkthrough. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, this stuff takes a while to pull together. So uh, if you enjoy the content, if it's helpful for you in purchasing decisions, things like that, please hit a like, smash that subscribe button, as they say. And with that, we'll go jump right on into it. We've got the G4 uh, non-pro doorbell uh, at the front of the house, um, and that works pretty well, but I'm hoping we'll get some better image quality from this guy, because um, it's much beefier. Um, good size, not too big. Feels solid, um, good quality build. The mounting infrastructure is plastic, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, but wanted to see what the actual um, setup process looked like and protect. So just starting with this, to get to the Ethernet port itself, I'm going to try and show this as best I can here. Um, you got to twist this back ring, it looks like, and then that'll pull off the mounting, the housing over that, and that's where our port is for our PoE connection. Now, I've got a cable over here, and hopefully we'll be able to see this pop up right on Protect. I'm planning to do this via the web browser, we'll see how that goes. I'm not seeing, oh. so in the app, on the phone app, I am getting a notification. Okay, here we go. Now we can see the G4 bullet. So we're just gonna click here to adopt. Let's see how long this goes already. You can see the videos coming through. Looks like it's gonna go through some firmware update, which is, I will say when I first got the G4 doorbell, that was right as it was first coming out. Um, Frankly, the initial process, the application itself, the connectivity were really rough, um, and it has gotten significantly better. It added car detection, people detection. Those weren't in place, I think, when I first had um, had that. And the, the software itself um, has gotten a lot better, particularly on the iPhone um, and just the phone apps. The web browser application is okay. Uh, I find pretty inconsistent. Uh, performance if I'm trying to scroll through or look at video I take all my comments with a grain of salt because I'm certainly not running with the best actual storage backend for all of this all right it looks like we're up we are running connected I'm gonna jump in take a look at what we can see let me blow this up a little bit um, and then it's a little dark in this room um, so don't be too surprised by the color tone. Um, it's got an okay depth of field. I'll pull it in here so you can kind of get a sense of what I'm looking at. Um, but it's not too, too broad, but the picture quality does seem um, much better than what I've seen. Garage based install. Um, beautiful day here in San Francisco. We're gonna get this set up. Now, this is for a door it's going to actually be placed up top over here and it's going to angle out so that we can see folks coming in and out of this little tradesman entrance on the side door because this is used as access to an airbnb unit so we want to get good visibility for folks coming in as they walk in through the driveway and yeah we're going to get it all set up uh, run some ethernet cable for it get it plugged right into the udm uh, udm pro and we'll go from there thanks
outdoor installation, we're gonna put on this little weather sleeve on the end of the ethernet cable just to prevent any water back backsliding on the cable or coming in from the other direction. All right, we're gonna do a quick ethernet termination for this. It's for a PoE outdoor security camera. Nice thing about these, you only need this one single cable. It gives it the power and the internet connection it needs. Um, plus, it also uh, creates a nice clean install with only a single cable. And because it's hardwired, you get a lot of extra um, kind of confidence in it, right? It's not gonna drop like you might get with wireless. passing through. These all get cut off once we do the termination. You want to get this cable sleeve all the way into the end and then double check your sequencing. And then once you're good with that, this is my pass through terminator, which conveniently also includes the color coding as a quick reference if you need it. And then we're just going to slot that in do the whole crimp. Now we can pull this cable back through. And now we're pretty much ready to get the camera. Get that weather seal. Tightening this first ring that connects the camera onto this mounting housing. And then we're going to take this back here. And we're going to angle it how we want. We're just going to do some loose tightening because we're going to want to go and check the view. And we're going to need to readjust this once we get a bit of power. Cut. Just like that. I'm going to finish screwing this later so it looks a little goofy right now, but it's nice, clean, straightforward install. Let's finish the wire. Ooh. So now we're ready to run the cable. We're going to run it over and then down over, down over to the home rack. When you're running cable, you always want to make certain you can fasten and secure it uh, appropriately. So I use a couple of different things. I use these simple basic hammer-in ones. These are particularly good for wood installations. They're just easy and quick. Um, and in wood, they'll be nice and secure for the most part. Uh, I don't like using these in drywall because they fall out super easily. There's just nothing to keep it held in. Um, I will use periodically this type of fastener. This can be done outdoor on wood. I can also use this in drywall. It's not great. I mean, ideally you'd have an anchor or something, but I can use it in a pinch. Lastly, something that definitely helps speed things up. Um, this is a staple gun specifically for drywall installation, or specifically for cable installations. And you can see <coughs> it's preset with these staples that are designed for cable running. This staple gun is specifically doesn't use regular staple gun um, or stapler staples, but works okay on wood, uh, it struggles a little bit, um, works fairly well on drywall, and can just make the process a lot faster as you go through it. So always make certain you got the right tools for the type of installation you're trying.
twisted. Now this is a patch panel, right? So we're gonna put in a keystone here so we can plug in a simple cable and then plug it directly into the switch. And then I've got some other cleanup I'm gonna be doing here as well because this could use some cleanup. Just like that, nice little clean, clean keystone installation. It's been running strong post the physical installation. I've had this up for a little over a day now, and I think it's been working pretty well so far. So we've got three cameras that are up right now over here on the right. This is the G4 Bullet. This is the G3. Uh, flex and then this is the G4 doorbell in the bottom now This is in the late afternoon evening sun's gone down G4 doorbell Not amazing quality when I switch over if I come Back to here I will say broadly speaking the picture quality is much more solid now Obviously the lighting's a little bit better here, but the picture quality generally has been uh, a lot more solid than what I was seeing from the doorbell. And a few other things, and this comes back to the enhancements that I've seen in Protect. Protect as a platform has started rough. Uh, I've had the doorbell in place for quite some time now, but it was really, really challenging working with it um, <clears throat> when it was first, when it was first released, the software was really, really frustrating. And a number of things have come into play. Not the settings actually, but in the detection space, uh, there's actually a number of smart detection capabilities. So originally, we'd start with just motion. Now they have smart detection zones where you can specify if you want people or if you want people in vehicles, etc. Um, this wasn't in place originally, it was all motion oriented. Um, and now they also have this crossing line capability where you can effectively use the smart detection capability, but you can specify where and how you want um, that detection to occur and trigger notifications. Now this isn't all that applicable for mine, but this is a really nice piece that if you know, for instance, there's a gate maybe that you wanna monitor people going in and out or something, you can set this up so it'll only track when people actually cross over in a given direction. And then on the doorbell as well, and also sped up smart detection for packages as well. Um, so that's pretty cool to see. That is definitely new. Now it's interesting, when I come into the smart detection area, you can't actually see the package component here as one of the uh, options that you can specify. Um, the other thing to note, if you're not familiar with this, um, there's a nice, very simple interface to specify where and how you want to get triggered. So if there's areas that maybe you don't want to monitor, for us, we really look to monitor when people are coming up to our door, but we don't want all the traffic on the sidewalk. So it's nice to be able to exclude those from the detection capabilities. And there's a lot of flexibility. Not only can you set up where you want to record, you can also create multiple different zones and different detection types. So, you know, depending upon what you're using these cameras for, <coughs> it's pretty, um, pretty configurable in terms of what you want to be monitoring or what you want to be alerted by. And all this stuff can obviously come through to your phone. And if you want, you can just quickly go through and you know identify any smart detections. Now, we hadn't actually gone through and set the smart detection zone, so the bullet was originally picking up everything. And we also had it at a wider angle, so it was picking up just more traffic. Um, otherwise, it can also give some heat map details if you want to see where you're seeing you know, given traffic, things of that nature, um, which is some cool capabilities as well. I will note this is a G3 Flex on the back door, and you will notice for G3 devices, uh, they do not have the same type of smart detection capability that is exclusive to the G G4 and above uh, line of camera. So just keep that in mind. So that covers it for today. I, I will say I've been able to take a look at the video from this camera over the last few days. The night vision quality is is up there, and it works really well. So the Protect platform, again, continues to evolve, continues to mature and get better. I'm excited to give one of the AI cameras a go, see how those work, uh, particularly the license plate reading technology. And so I'll have more on that in the upcoming weeks. But yeah, 
good solid camera. They've also released the G5 bullet. So that's a new one that's out, has a plastic housing. It's a bit cheaper. I think it's $99. Looks like the video quality is pretty good. Um, Mac Telecom Networks actually just put out a review and a comparison between the G4 and the G5 bullet. Sounds like there are some pros and cons. And, you know, depending upon your circumstance, either one could be a good option for you. But really enjoyed the G4. Again, if you enjoyed this content, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, hope this helped you out. On next time.